Hello General Chemistry. This video is still about Lewis dot structures, but we are going to discuss how to use a Lewis dot structure to illustrate a covalent compound. Now remember, a covalent compound involves covalent bonds. Two or more atoms that are highly electronegative um, attract or try to pull on atoms from other, or try to pull on electrons from other atoms. And uh, since they're both pulling, instead of one stealing, they end up sharing and they create this hybrid orbital. So the atoms, the, the electrons circle around the nucleus of both atoms, bringing them together to give us a covalent bond, to give us a bond. So we can use dot structures to help us predict and illustrate these bonds between atoms. So how do we do that? Well, the steps are one, draw the dot diagram for each atom. Two, find the bonds between the unpaired electrons so all the atoms are connected, and three, redraw the diagram to show the shared electrons. So let's, let's take a look at what that looks like. Uh, in this situation, I have color-coded it. If our example is, is NBr3, that is nitrogen tribromide. This is a covalent compound, and I have put out all of the atoms. There are four atoms in this molecule, one nitrogen and three bromine, and I've done the Lewis dot structures here. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, so it has two electrons that are paired, but it has three electrons that are unpaired. Whereas bromine, who has seven valence electrons, has six that are paired and one that is unpaired. Now, when we make these um, connections, when we make uh, a covalent bond, each atom is going to contribute at least one electron to that bond. So we've got to find a way, and this is what I've recreated down here so that we can do some drawing. We're going to find a way to connect all of these together. Now, the unpaired electrons, they do not get shared. Unpaired electrons do not get shared. So this guy here, he's not going to be shared. What will happen instead is that this nitrogen... Oh, I want a different color. This nitrogen will share its electron with this bromine. The bromine's gonna pull on that nitrogen, the nitrogen's gonna, the nitrogen electron, the nitrogen is gonna pull on bromine's electron, and these are going to form a covalent bond. They're gonna make a hybrid orbital that surrounds both of the atoms and keeps them together. Well, the paired electrons aren't gonna get shared, but maybe this one is unpaired, so it can be shared, and it can make a hybrid orbital with this bromine. Uh, these are not going to be shared, but this one can be shared, and this one can be shared, so these are going to make a hybrid orbital with this bromine. So now we figured out the connections. We figured out how the nitrogen is going to share its electrons with each of the bromine so that all four of those atoms are connected to each other in some way. Now what does it look like when we redraw the diagram? Well, we can kind of imagine that these two, they're not, they're going to still be themselves, and the six are still going to be themselves, but these are going to be shared. So what does that look like? It looks like this. We have nitrogen, and nitrogen has five valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five. So nitrogen looks just like itself. But these bromine have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. The unpaired electrons between the nitrogen and the bromine are shared. So one of these comes from nitrogen, one of these comes from bromine. Well, we repeat that process for the other three bromine. Bromine, it has seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. One of the unpaired goes with nitrogen, and one of the unpaired from nitrogen goes with bromine. So they form a bond, and we repeat that with the last one, bromine, one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh one is unpaired, so it gets shared with nitrogen, and nitrogen's third unpaired gets shared with bromine. So that is the Lewis dot structure of, of nitrogen tribromide. I hope this helps. Struggle well.